in the last episode of this car, Jeff gave us a new shift knob, and the shift knob is on, so you get to actually try to shift it with a shift knob, which Instead is going to be like, this thing. Yeah, that was the shift knob that we put on it. And we're going to do an oil change, and a follower sent us two oil filters and a master cylinder for the brakes. So we'll split it up. We're going to do the oil change today and the master cylinder on another episode. Yeah. First off, we've got to swap batteries because it doesn't have a battery. So I had to keep robbing a battery out of one of my cars <laughs> to put into his car so we can drive it. So always look for your negative and positive. Yep. The positive, the C-Rex, goes towards the firewall, which is the red terminal right there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to drop it in right here. A couple of other little things we need to fix today is this molding. It's coming off. Yeah, it's literally indented this. Yeah, and when you open the door, it hits that and pushes that fender and it keeps bending that. Yeah. So you can get around that because there's no fender well. We can fix that. We'll push that out and get this secured. I think the clip is broken. Oh, yeah, it is. It yeah. definitely has. Look at that. The seat is in the same position as when you left it. Can you get in? Oh, I nice should not. We need to fix that too. That's neutral. Close drought. Neutral. Make sure you down. shake it 37 times. I want to make sure that we are in neutral and key is in it, right? Yep. Right. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Let's turn it on, make sure it's got power. Push down, then hit the key so it'll start. There she goes. For a quick drive. Yeah. I like your t shirt, by the way. Check out his t shirt. Oh, Just so great. happens to be wearing the same one. That's good, right? Yeah, that's really good. So they are available in the store. If you want to pick up your t-shirt so wow listen to the tires like, need some air in the tires that's for sure does. i think I, i'm pretty sure it's this one back here is the lowest one yeah the front ones seem kind of low too the steering's really heavy listen to that we have the technology to fix that same on either side but right. All right so we're gonna put the lift arms under it so take that little short extension right there yep and lift that pad off and put that under it and then put the pad back on good job and then same on the front arm right there oh, yeah. the extension should be on the other side there it is these ones are for trucks if it's a really jacked up car that lifts this closer to the body so the lift will go up higher so yep yeah, same again and then we'll do the same on the other side but right now we're going to put this under the car i'm going to show you where the jacking points are so the jacking points are the stiffest portion of the car and it's also usually a pad that allows you to put all the weight of the car on that pad. So you're going to get on your knees here. This is why daddy always has dirty knees because I'm always crawling around the ground. So when you look under here, there's usually a cutaway. If you see in the body right here, this plastic, there's a cutaway. And then right behind, you kind of see like a thicker pad. Can you see one in the front there? See if you can find it. This? This? Feel under there? Yeah. Now you see this part right here? This yeah. like flat ridge? Yeah. See where it's like a... See how wide it is? Yeah. And it's double thickness? Yeah. That's the jacking point right there. Oh. So we're going to try and get the pad. Right under there? Under there. Should be able to go up in the air now. So I'll stop there. Let's just double check. Now it's off the ground. Always double check that our pads are on the jacking point. Make sure this is all loose here, but it's on the metal point. Same here, and we'll go to the other side and check it too. Mm -hmm. Nice and secure. We get it up in the air, we'll get to see what it looks like on the, underneath. Ooh. That'd be fun, you've never seen underneath this car, have you? Oh, yeah. A little bit leaky. A little bit leaky. It's not too bad. So if you've never seen an HF, the catalytic converter is right up front, and then it has a single pipe here. Common thing people used to do is just get uh, basically the header off an SI and it used to bolt to here and it eliminated that See anything funky? Does everything look good? Um, it's got an aftermarket exhaust And the back section looks like it's a Gretty yeah. So just this back section is a Gretty. This is actually a good exhaust. We used to use these back in the day uh, You oh. see how that's broke right there? Look oh that. yes! Oh no! See that? Yeah. That there, it's we a can... little... That's why it's been... Oh, no. oh, yeah, everything else looks good though. But yeah, eventually this needs to be replaced if we put a bigger motor in it. Ooh. These are the aftermarket shocks, look at this. It's got a Coney yellows and it looks like Coney springs on there. 
rear disc conversion. This is all upgrades from the car. The car never had disc brakes, it had drum brakes. Mm. It's got stainless steel lines. So you remember the gift that that guy sent us? Yeah. Let's go get it. Oh yeah. We've got to give this guy a shout out. He was nice enough to send yeah. us this. You reach in there. This thing is so tall. You ever oh seen a trunk God. on a GT4? Look how deep down this is. It's like you can barely touch the bottom. I could probably actually fit in there. I think you could. You really could. Really... Could be a third seat. I know. I like the name of it. Project Sebastian CRX. This is from KO, by the way. Thank you. I was talking to him on Instagram, but he said he was going to do this, but this was like a surprise for you anyway. Mm -hmm. so go ahead, read the note, then we'll show everybody what we got. John, sorry for the delay. I messaged you at SEMA stating that I have a Civic EX brake master cylinder for Sebastian CRX. I finally found time to dig it out of storage. Continue the great work. Looking forward to the build series on the channel. That is awesome. Look mm -hmm. at that. And I like this. Keeping kids driving and manuals alive. <laughs> that is awesome. All right, dig it out. Let's see what we got. Let's cut to we the chase, as got, they say. We've got two um, these things. Oil filters. Oil filters. <laughs> Which is what we're going to use today. Yes. So we're going to need one of those today for the HF motor. And, and this is the nice one. This is the master cylinder right here. Now, I used to be into CRXs so much back in the day. We used to be able to go to Honda and order this and get it. it this is only a, a Civic EX was the only one that would bolt to a CRX. And it was the bigger master cylinder. It's a 15 16 If you turn this over on this aluminum side, look on the opposite side. On this side right here. Oh. See this? This is the size of it. 15 16 That's almost an inch bore. So this is a very strong master cylinder. It's going to give the brakes a real nice feel. This sucker is brand new. He is at this in his garage. This is so awesome. This is such a rare part. <laughs> I never thought I would see the day when we was excited to see a part for a CRX that you couldn't get because we used to just order them from Honda whenever we needed it. So that's going to be a second project. Right now we're going to do the oil change. So let's get the tools ready and I'll show you. You can do the oil change. How about that? Um, so we'll keep that in the box. Put the other filter in there. We're going to use one for right now. Well, pretty high for you, isn't it? So, pull that over, pull that under the car, be careful not to drop the green barrel off there. And this is the drain bolt for the oil right here. So pull that under here, try and get it somewhere in the middle, and then you're gonna push it that way, yes. Just give it a little bit of force. There you go, a little bit more. All right, broke loose. Good deal, so now we can pull the green bottle under there, and then we can pull that bolt all the way out. <laughs> So just make sure it's loose, it should be. You should be able to just turn it a little bit and then do it with your fingers. Can you get that on there? I don't know. I'll try the other. I know, you kind of, look. He's actually stretching. <laughs> he's on his tippers. This is what it's like working with George. You see, I'm tall, I bang my head everywhere, and I make George reach all the time. I think I've he's made George tall. grow since he's worked here. <laughs> he does, because he has to stretch. He goes home stretched out, and I'm like, got, I got chunks out of my head because I bang my head. <laughs> Just a little bit more. Okay, so it's finger tight. I'll hold the wrench. You go ahead and break that ball loose. Now, as you get it almost to the end, the oil will come out, so try not to drop the bolt in the oil. I'm going to keep my hand on this barrel just so you don't knock it over. So it's going to screw out quite a ways before it comes out. Just be ready. Use your other hand, because if it sprays out, you don't want to get it on your watch. It sprays out? Well, it'll come out pretty fast, and I don't want you to get it on your watch. I'm going to hold this barrel right here. All right. All right. Make sure you don't drop the um, bolt in the oil. If I you can. do, yes. you got to go digging. You've almost got it. Keep going. Keep going. There it goes. What? Oh, look at that. That's some yucky stuff coming out of there. Who knows when this was changed? Blech. Look at that. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's not that bad. You know what? You know how to tell if the oil is old or not? You lick it. What? And if it tastes gross, the oil is old. And if it tastes gross, the oil is new. <laughs> so, is look at the weird job. colors coming out of there because this motor has a little bit of a blown head gasket. So, that's why it's kind of got that creamy brown look to it. It's mixing water a little bit. So, the engine will be happy we're doing this. So, right now, I'm just kind of teaching him basic maintenance. And of course, if he's going to drive this a little bit, practice it. I just want to make sure the motor is okay. But my long term plan, I think we're going to put another single cam in it, maybe a single cam VTEC. 
you know, change the transmission. The HF transmission is really, really tall gear ratio. And a Civic EX would be better with like a CRX SI transmission. Just looking, there's a boot split right there too. But again, it's got good bones. Everything else is decent. Everything else is good. This is something we'll address. The bushings are a little bit old. Uh, ball joints might have to be replaced. Again, just some basic stuff, but I think it's going to be good for him to get involved doing this because he'll have more respect for the car if you do it yourself. Plus, it's better getting oily hands and playing video games, right? Yes, it's That's way, good. Better. You're not way, way better. Yeah, you're not a video game kid. Yeah, you're... not my kind. <laughs> you would much rather um, getting your hands dirty. Yes. What I usually do is with oil filters, I always like to make sure that they're sealed. That way this plastic is on it because you don't want anything getting in there. If you ever pick up an oil filter and this is all open, look it over real good, make sure there's nothing in there. Because if there's debris in there or chunks or something, that would go in the engine. Mm. Can you Got get it? it. Perfect. Alright, pull it all the way out. Take that off. Make sure there's no plastic stuck to the oil filter. But you see that was nice and clean. But if it doesn't have plastic on it, always have a good look inside. Make sure that nothing dropped in there. So what we do first is we're going to put a little bit of oil on the seal. This is a rubber seal, right? Yeah. This threaded part screws onto the engine. This rubber part here is the actual seal. Mm. So the reason you put a little bit of oil on there, one, is when you're tightening it up, it gives you a little bit more ease to tighten it so it doesn't get sticky. You can get mm. more torque on the filter. And two is so that this doesn't stick to the engine when you change the oil. Let's go ahead and change the washer on your drain bolt. So there's your okay. new one. So that will usually just come off there. Hmm. Yeah. yeah. And then just go ahead and wipe it over. Make sure it's nice and clean. Get all that old yucky sludge off. Right. Good. All right. Put that on there. This is essentially your seal. So you always put a new washer on every time you put your do your oil change. Yeah. Good job. Go get the wrench. We'll snug that up. I think what we'll do is we'll hit this with brake cleaner a little bit. Get some of the sludge. Off there. Off here. All right, put that sucker on there, and you're gonna push it this way. Inside? No, no, that's the wrong way. Oh. There you go. Make sure you don't hit the barrel, knock it over. Oh. Make sure it's on the bolt properly, so the bolt, and just snug it. There you go. That's good. That's good. All right, go grab the brake cleaner, which is on that bench over there, right next to that Milwaukee wrench right there. And we're going to just go ahead and spray this off a little bit. Let me bring this back underneath so we can give it a spray. Give it just a bit of a clean up because there's a little bit of oil under there too. You going to pass me it? All right, let's get that excess over there. Just so it's done. Just so it don't keep running. Okay, so just pull it down till it clicks. There you go. And then let go. And then go to the other side. Same thing, just pull it down until it clicks. Yep, all the way down. That means it's the locks are off. They're like the safety lock. We always drop it down as a lock. Then go nice and easy on that. Press it in nice and easy, and the car will come down. There you go. This one won't come down that fast because the car is pretty light. You can press it a little bit more. But if it was a heavier car, they come down much, much faster. So we always go nice and easy on that. Bring it in very, very slow. So you can steadily push it all the way in. There we go. See, it's not coming down very fast. This is a very light car. And then put it up on the prop. You don't have to do that, right? You know where the hole is? We're going to put oil back in it. But one thing to look at, see all this like flaky mm -hmm. stuff here? We want to get all that out of the way because if we unscrew that, this stuff could go in the engine. You see this? That valve cover oh, yeah. is pretty rough. So go get the air blower and what we'll do is we'll blow a lot of this loose stuff off. I mean, it's going to suck because a lot of it's going to come off. And then just give it a ch 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 there you go. A lot of that paint's going to come loose. So. Don't worry too much about it. Just do it around here. Get a little bit closer. Right, grab that off and then put it in that rag right there because it's going to have a little bit of oil in it. There you go. Go put that on the bench. And we have a funnel that fits this. Perfect. Where will you see this funnel? 
Put it in there. Give it a quick push. There you go. Oh my gosh! That is it awesome. Does. All right, so we just got some oil. This was the cheapest oil the parts store had. So if someone's going to tell me all about oil. You should do this. You should do that. This was fourteen bucks. Fourteen. And all we want is oil. We're not looking at any specific oil, any super oil. Go ahead and take the cap off, and it'll have like a foil cover on it to make sure nothing falls in there. You can either peel it off or put a hole in it and peel it from the inside. Just make sure. But yeah, try and peel it off. Make sure there's no little chunks going there. Nice. All right. Here's a trick. You gotta pour that in the motor without pouring it all over the place. <laughs> so it's actually easy having a funnel. So not too. No, you hold it nice and slow. Get it closer. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Now start pouring it. Oh. So I'll pour in about half and then we're going to check it. Yep, check the dipstick. Grab a rag first. And what we're going to do is pull that dipstick out and, and wipe it. And then put it back in? Then we'll put it back in, which checks the oil. And then we'll see where the oil level is. So I'll pull that out and wipe the end of it off. There you go. Wipe that off. And now it's clean. I'm going to show you what you're looking for. See on the end of it, you see these two dots? Mm -hmm. We're going to be filling it up to that top dot. If it's on the bottom dot, it's one quart low, which is bad. We want it up to the top dot right there. Okay. Right, so it should be right about that if we put the right amount of oil in. So you see that hole down there you got to get in? Okay, let me Check the tire pressures. I know they're all low. So I'll take that off. You remember how to use this? We used this before, right? Yeah. I have a different one, but it's in the Porsche from track day. So uh -huh. push that on, use two hands, push it on, then take it off. And what have we got? Not a lot. Press it again. None. Press it all the way on. Not very much. 20. Right. 20 way more. So this here, same way. we we'll make sure that is straight on there. Don't get it crooked like this. Go straight on and then give it a little bit of air and then check it. Well, you see, I was all crooked and it was all going shh. What I usually do is put my thumb on here so it goes straight. Just give it a second. Right now, let's check it. So I usually use two hands. I use one to control it and then my thumb to press it on straight. So it's not straight, you won't get an accurate reading. So where are we at right now? 27. Mm -hmm. So let's take it up to about 32. So there you go. One to control it. See it's all hissing. Oops. Still not right. Sorry. That's all right. When you get it right, you gotta make sure that, see, that's crooked. You gotta get straight like that. Okay. Still not right. Okay. Still crooked. See when the valve twists? Yeah. Do it again and you'll see when it's straight. Right? There you go. That's good. Now check it. Your side checker is right there. Same thing. Use your thumb to make sure you hold it on straight to get an accurate reading. You can hear it leak. Like yeah. that's ready time again I just put it in position so we're gonna be driving from here that way as you see the whole complex is empty no one's here there's just us so I'm not getting in the way of anybody so you got to see all the way forward yep. get in position yep. you're gonna put your uh, seatbelt on let's close the door put the seatbelt on let's go. that's not closed all the way there we go I'm gonna go ahead and get near the side so I can reach for the e-brake just in case you get a little bit crazy over here. And then just as we practiced, nice and easy on the clutch, a little bit of gas. A little bit of gas, there you go. Yeah, too Not too much gas. There you go, a little bit of gas. Ease up on the clutch. There we go. Oh, stalled. And we stalled it. <laughs> That's alright. Start it back up. Not a big deal. You don't put the clutch all the way down. Oh, I have that. I have this. Yeah, you want the clutch all the way down. Push your clutch all the way down. That's got a safety switch on the yeah. clutch. So there you go. First gear. A little bit of RPMs to about 2,000. Then easy out the clutch. And as you let the clutch out, a little bit more gas. There you go. A little bit less gas. There we go. We got it. There we go. We've got it now. All right, clutch down, easy on the brake. Same principle. All right, put it back in neutral. You know what? 
so your poor dad don't have to push his backwards. Yeah. You want to go in reverse? How can I get? Same thing, you know what reverse is? Same thing, so reverse. Easy on the clutch, give it a little bit of RPMs, and as the car starts to move, a little bit more gas, but not too much. Ready? A little bit of gas. It starts to ease the clutch out as it starts to move, a little bit more gas. There you go, a little bit more gas. There we go. And let the clutch all the way out. Don't go too fast. Perfect. All right, clutch in. That easy on the brake. On the brake. Very good. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Next episode, we're going to do the Civic EX Master Cylinder, bleed all the brakes, and we have to fix the door panel on the driver's side it's pretty beat up so we'll try and address that so see you on the next video don't forget enjoy your cars and enjoy driving them yeah